Okay, so the reason why we changed our name was because we didn't really have a mandate at the beginning. Uh, our starting point was to look at the cyano paper, which is photosensitive paper. Uh, that's not very sensitive, so you can really have long exposure times and play around with it. And the starting point was to really think about what can we do with this paper. I'm a biologist, and we have an artist, and we have an electrical maker. And the question was, what um, is this something we can pull around with this material? And I was a little bit inspired by the, um, the idea of using the material to, uh, first off, think about the quantifiable self, which is the ability for people to observe and react to their own bodily measurements. And one of the most typical things we measure are bodily fluids. So if you go to the doctor, you think one of the most typical things is a blood test. Uh, we also have spit and tears and urine and pus and blood, uh, things that we can, we can measure with, uh, with liquid. And the other thing that I was thinking about is uh, one of my, my pet projects is looking at data visualization. So how can we take data and represent it in a usable kind of way? And what we decided to do was to use the cyanobacterium and we built a contraption here um, which is going to measure the salt content in whatever liquid that we feed it. Um, so here is, um, that's actually my spit, uh, but it could be any bodily fluid that you want to feed in to the system. And this is the contraption that, that we have built. And so uh, the first thing that we needed to do was to think about setting kind of a standardization uh, calibration curve um, in the normal range of human salt uh, blood concentration, which turns out to be about 9 grams per liter, which is about 154 millimole per liter. Um, and so we built the standardization curve, so we can test it, and then we pass it over to our artistic director and our electronic so I'm going to talk a little bit about the photography aspect of it. That's my background. Um, and that's kind of the reason we all got together. Uh, so the initial sort of interest we all had was in the material. And so a lot of the tests I did initially were, um, I've done, I've worked a lot with cyanotype before. And so I already have a background in um, it, but from a really aesthetic standpoint. And so we were interested in sort of mixing the materials um, with what we were actually testing. So we were thinking about making these graphs that could actually visualize. Um, so the size of the circle will actually show the salt content of the sample that we're using. So the smaller the uh, aperture goes, that is um, affected by the conductivity of the sample. And so we were also, the actual, uh, if you look closely at these, we'll have them showing later. Uh, we were using, we were making contact prints, and the photographs that we were making them of was of salt as well. So we were making photographs of salt using uh, samples that were conducted because of salt. So we like the idea of like repeating that. So uh, I guess we are, our time is up, so I don't have to, time to tell how it works in detail. But if you want to test your own liquids, how to make beautiful pictures, paper pictures that you can take home with your nasty bodily liquids. Join us yeah. in the yard. I uh, can tell, explain there how it all works. There's an Arduino servo and a high power LED to give you a hint.